Welcome to our next Arbiter training video. In this module, you will learn how to work with multi-geometry type layers again, but this time we will learn how to edit those features since Arbiter treats multi-geometry layers differently than normal vector layer types. You will learn how to add a new feature to an existing group, how to move a feature that is in a group, how to modify the attributes to a group, and how to delete a feature from an existing group. Let's get started and do these editor op operations. Start Arbiter from the Apps page. We start from the default work zone, and here are the multi-geometry layers that we entered in the last module. Let's start by adding a new feature to an existing group. Double-touch one of the point features here, and the attribute table opens. Next, select the Edit button to activate Edit Mode, then select the Map button to go back to the map. From here, touch on any one of the point features in the group. We see the multi-geometry icons appear on the left margin. Since we want to add a new feature to the group, we select the Add icon. Touch the screen where the feature is to go, and there, it's added. If we want to add another feature, we would select the Add icon again. But let's do a different edit operation. Let's go with the idea that one of these features was moved to a new location and we need to fix our data. We're still in edit mode, so all we have to do is touch the feature that is to be moved, then drag it to its new location. There. We just added a new feature and moved a different one. We're finished with our edits, so we'll select Done. The attribute table appears. Select Save to keep the changes, and go back to the map. Next, let's modify the attributes for our multi-line. Double-touch one of the lines to open the attribute table. From here, select Edit. Let's change some information in the table to convey something more specific. There. We save the changes and we'll go back to the map. And to confirm that both line features are tied to the same attribute set, let's open the attribute table for the other line string. Double touch this line here. And we see that the attributes show the changes we just made. Let's select the back button and go back to our map. Next, we'll delete a feature from the group. Let's double touch one of the polygon features to open its attribute table. Again, select the edit, then map buttons. We'll touch this polygon here to select it, and we see the blue circles indicating that we can edit it now. Also the two multi-geometry icons appear on the left. To delete a feature from the group, we select this delete icon here. Features deleted, but the operation is not complete. To continue the delete operation, we would have to select the Done button. If you made a mistake, you can always select Cancel here. We'll go ahead and select Done. Arbiter returns to the Attribute table, and we confirm the delete by selecting the Save button. Then we go back to the map, and our feature is removed from the set. We still see an outline of the polygon, but it will completely disappear once we sync our changes. Let's go ahead and do the sync operation now. Arbiter uploads the changes back to the server, and there, our changes are updated. Okay, that's all we'll do in this module. We just learned how to edit multi-geometry layers. We added another feature to an existing group, moved a feature, modified the attributes to a group, and deleted a feature from a group. These operations will be important to your field work when you work with multi-geometry type layers. Let's go ahead and close down Arbiter now.